Wow, Dragon Ball Sparking Zero has so many outfits, right? <clears throat> Wrong. I made a Sparking Zero review a few days ago, go check that out, but I will admit the only thing I regret not mentioning in that video is the lack of outfits in the game. Don't get me wrong, some characters have quite a few, some have none though, a lot have none, and I think it's a little ridiculous they don't at least have a different colorway. So today I'm going to be making a fun little video just giving each character in the game one new outfit, and only one. Feel free to comment below as many other outfits you think should be in the game. And with that being said, let's just get right into it. Bandai, please add some of these for free even. And little disclaimer first, I'm not going to give people any non-canon outfits or something that they didn't wear at least in GT. There are no Dragon Ball Fusions, no Dragon Ball Heroes outfits here, or fan-made stuff, because that's just never going to happen. I'm trying to go with some realistic stuff we could actually maybe see in the video game. Alright, we're just going to go in the order of the character selector. So first up, we have Goku from early Dragon Ball Z. We have basically everything I think they could have added with this costume. Most of Goku's are just battle damage, that's why it seems like he has a lot. But I think it would be cool if we could get the fit that he wore before, the 23rd Tenkaichi Budokai that he got from Kami when he was holding the umbrella. That was kind of fire, I kind of like that fit, and it'd be fun to have in the game. Next, Goku from mid Dragon Ball Z. His driving outfit, you just gotta have that, that's hilarious. Now Goku from the end of Z. I don't know how this isn't already in the game, but his end of Z fit, or GT fit, is a must. Dragon Ball Super Goku, gotta have the jacket. That one might be a little hard to implement in the gameplay, but still, at least give it to his base form. Next, UI Goku. I know people probably want to see him in the Grand Prix outfit, but I'm trying to go with realistic stuff here. That's just not going to happen. And UI already has everything he's ever worn, so just give him a different colorway. GT Goku. I think a no-tailed version would be cool. It might make no sense when he turns into Super Saiyan 4, but it's fine. Kid Goku. Now, I want to say his original outfit from the very beginning of the series, but they already got his normal fit wrong. Why does he have an undershirt and wristbands? Get rid of him. It just looks wrong. Daima Goku. To be determined. For Scouter Vegeta. We gotta have that incorrect coloring they did on his armor from the original dub. That one's just sick. For early Vegeta or mid Vegeta, whatever you want to call him, the Batman shirt is the only way to go here. Just imagine a pink shirt Super Saiyan Vegeta. I'll admit though, a pink shirt Super Vegeta would look a little weird. Vegeta from the end of Z. Similar to Goku, I think it's fit from the very end of the manga and the show that he wears in the world tournament with Oob would be a nice addition. Now for Maj Majida, I think a statue version would be very dope. No, I'm just playing. A different colorway would be fine here. Vegeta from Dragon Ball Super, again, same as Goku, his jacket fit would be dope. Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta, he can't really do much, so different colorway. Kid go on. gotta have his orange gi and sword from when he was training with Piccolo. In fact, I can't think of a single Budokai or Tenkaichi game that ever had that outfit, and that's kinda wild. Similarly with Teen Gohan, his orange gi is an absolute must. For adult Gohan or older teen Gohan, to be more accurate, his orange tar high school uniform would go hard. He even went Super Saiyan in it. For Great Saiyan, different colorway. For Ultimate Gohan, his Supreme Kai outfit. I mean, come on, that might be my favorite fit of his ever. Future Gohan. Uh, can I say his two-armed version? If not, then maybe just a battle damage look. For early Z Piccolo, have to have his post-boy driving outfit. Make it a matching set with Goku. For end of Z Piccolo, because we're probably going to get a superhero Piccolo in the future, then just add a different colorway for this one. By the way, do you know how dope it would be if he could cast aside his cloak and turban whilst fighting like he does in the anime? Anyways, that's a separate point. For Nail, give him his coat version. For Krillin, I'm surprised they left out his Boo Saga look, so definitely add that. For Yamcha, I like his yellow outfit from the Boo Saga. Let's class up the joint. Same for Tien, his Boo Saga fit might be my favorite of his. It just overshadows his crane school uniform. For Sword Trunks, this is a little tough because he does have a sword on him, so I can't go with what I would want to go with, which is the Hope Sweater. So I'll just go with the History of Trunks Blue Bomber that he wears. Now for Melee Trunks, we just gotta have a tank top version of this Trunks. That's my favorite look for him without the sword. For Future Trunks, is this a stretch? His Time Patrol outfit? Not that I even like it that much, I just don't know what else to add. For Kit Trunks, I love his Broly Second Coming fit, so that's gotta be the one. And for Goten, his outfit from his very first appearance would do nicely. Now, for Vegito, Gogeta, Gotenks, Kefla, and Zamasu, all the fusions for that matter. Nothing would be canon, so just give them all different colorways. For Videl, her post-world tournament fight outfit is pretty nice. For Master Roshi, a nosebleed version would be pretty- no, I'm kidding. I really liked his outfit from when he stood up to King Piccolo though, it's basically Jackie Chun's outfit just without the hair. 
For Frieza, for his first form, he should have a no armor version. And then past that, he should have one where his tail is cut off. And then in his final form, add one where his eye is a little fucked up too. For Mecha Frieza, let's have a sliced in half version. If we can't have that, then add a different colorway. For Cell, I really like his manga accurate color that we have in the game now. But maybe also add a version where it's more similar to the anime like we've had in previous games. If not, then different colorway. For Cell Juniors, maybe have a DBZ Budokai throwback and have an orange Krillin looking one. That'd be funny. For Fat Boo, I know this wouldn't happen, but I gotta say it. Have a skinny Boo. If not, then different colorway. For all the Boos, honestly. Just different colorway. For Mr. Satan, a caped version would be hilarious. Maybe one where he wears his belt. For Chiaotzu, I'm kinda shocked we don't have his crane school fit already. So definitely add that. For Yajirobe, Beard Robe is just the way to go. For Pan, we may end up getting a Kid Pan, so I'll just say add her backpack here. For Oob, you gotta give him a Goku Gi version. His end of Z fit just wouldn't fit his body type here. For Bardock, his battle damage one that he had against Frieza is his most iconic look, so add that. For both Raditz and Nappa, they both have this fit from the original Budokai 3 game that I really liked, so I'd like to see that brought back. And for the Cybermen, Zarbon, Dodoria, Kui, and the Ginyu Force is really not much to do, so just different colorway. For King Cold, again, I like the manga accurate look, but give him an anime accurate one as well. For Android 16, the no armor look wouldn't go hard, but that's all I can think of. For Android 17 from Dragon Ball Z, you gotta have his Hellfire GT look, that one's just dope. And for Android 17 from Super, just a different colorway. Android 18, she actually has a lot to choose from, but the one she wore briefly after her fight with Vegeta takes the cake for me. For Android 19 and 20, just making calculators, or give them their no hat versions. For Bobbity, how about Bibbity, just for kicks. For Deborah, his cookie version, or just give him a wreath around his head and neck, also for kicks. For Frieza Soldier, pick a pool for all I care. For Z Broly, his slightly damaged look from Second Coming would work. And for Super Broly, his Planet Vampa armorless look is already better than the one we have for me personally. Now, Garlic Jr., Dr. Wheelo, Turles, Cooler, Metal Cooler, Android 13, Bojack, Janemba. Just different, different colorways. We got it. Alright, alright. The Lord Slug, give him his old man form. For Tapion, again, maybe a stretch, but his brother Minosha would be a fun alternate costume. For Hirudugarn, his pre-insect looking form would be cool. For Baby Vegeta and Sin or Omega Shenron, again, just different colorways, not much you can do there. For Spopovich, I know they ain't doing this, but his pre-Majin form would be cool. Now for Beerus, give the man his jammies. And for Whis, just alternate colors. Now for Goku Black, Gohan Black. That's it. And for Zamasu and all the other universe fighters, just give them ultimate colors because we only really saw them in the Tournament of Power, so there's not much to go on. But that's every character in the game, guys. Again, leave your comments down below on what you agree with, what else you think should be added, any other fits that I missed, what you think is cooler than what I said. Let's have some discussion down below. And I hope Bandai can add some of these for free, and some of these I might even pay for. But with that being said, I love you guys. Like the video, subscribe if you made it to the end. Hit the join button if you feel like being a bigger part of the community. Take it easy, and peace.